<laughs> it's been a while. I've just filmed a podcast episode for the other channel and once again the thought crossed my mind I must make a video for the Beach Tree Handmade and I was getting in my head about it a little bit. I wanted it to be... I'm not going to say perfect but you know what I mean. I wanted it to be better. I didn't want it to be scrappy and just me showing up and going Pleh. Um Unfortunately that's pretty much what I do anyway so here we are. <laughs> um, as the title or the thumbnail or both suggest I'm a bit dry on ideas this state. I'm going to basically show, share my um, how I got on with my winter whips. Uh, spoiler alert, I smashed it. <laughs> but going forward into spring, I mean I feel like I'm jumping the gun a little bit because at the time of filming it is Valentine's Day. So we're in, we're smack bang in the middle of February. Um, spring doesn't start until the beginning of March or the spring spring equinox, whichever date that you choose, but either way we're not there yet. However, I, I haven't started making a spring project bag and I haven't started looking for a spring uh, cup. I'm jumping way ahead. I know, small problems. These are If these are the biggest problems I have in my life, I'm doing well. They're not the biggest problems I have in my life, but they are problems. I have many problems, but these are not the worst of them. Let's move on. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the fun things then. Let's talk about the whips that I was planning over winter. Um, I had three that were kind of fix things. And this was one of them. Let's see if we can spin you around. Da, 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 da. Oh, actually, there's a little bonus one. Hello, you got my face again. But look, last, in the last video, this was only two rows. Now I have to put it in front of my face so that you can see it. Four rows. I love making this blanket. It's not called a mossy blanket, but I've I've decided it looks a bit mossy from a distance. So I'm calling it my mossy blanket, and um, it's it's bubbly. It's it's a bubble blanket, and and it's 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 doing really nicely. It's coming along slowly. I, th I might put it away for a little while because um, I'm out of the season where I'm craving darker colours. Um, but I do love the fact that I can just pick up my, my wool and just crochet. But any anyway, I I, I was I, I got I got digressed. Um my granny square blanket was falling apart and I had no idea how to fix it. Um and I don't think I can make one of these videos without mentioning Bex of the Pigeon's Nest. She has a a tu a, tu a tutorial, a tutorial <laughs> DIY. She has a video where she walks you through fixing a granny square blanket. And if that wasn't perfect bloody timing, I don't know what is. So I fixed it. So that was project number one. Check. Where's my coffee? Ah, okay. Oh, that's a bit hot. And I. Yeah, the handle still is still holding in there. I've super, do you remember I broke it and I've super glued it together and it's it's still hanging in there, but I, hmm, that doesn't mean to say that I trust it. So I have to wait for my coffee to cool down just enough so that I can actually hold the cup. Okay, speaking of Bex at the Pigeon's Nest, I know, I joke that she just needs to have my credit card at this point, but um, the other thing that I bought from her a yonks ago was a um, PDF pattern to make a granny square cardigan. Well, that's cheating. I've I've made this, I made the cardigan ages ago, but I fluffed the sleeves, and I, I stupidly didn't take a before. But um, essentially, Bex's pattern uses three rows of granny squares, and I lost my instructions and made them with four, and they were mahoosive. So um, this it didn't it meant that I didn't wear the the cardigan, and I've just basically I just I took it out, and I took a row out from each from each sleeve and I made the sleeve proper. And I even ribbed some, um, what do you call these things? Cuffs. <laughs> but I was using the wrong weight yarn. I don't know what it was. Um, double, double dump, double knit, DK? Um, tell people you don't know anything about knitting without telling people you don't know anything without knitting. 
or crochet for that matter. I was about to put it on, but it's too cold in here to take my jumper off, so I won't. But um, I, I like it, but the cuffs are a bit bigger than I would like. You can't see very well because this Muppet thought extra dark yarn would be ideal. You gonna focus on that, my love? Okay, yeah, don't look at the fluff. Um, yeah, they're a bit bigger than I would have liked, but they, they, they're so much better. So much better. You get, you see? Sod it. I'm going to put it on because what's the point of making it otherwise? <sighs> oh. And just to complete <laughs> the look because it is cold in here. Which is also Bex from the Pigeon's Nest. I just like crochet. It's it's happy. It's such a happy just crochet is just such a happy medium and there's just something about it that hits in a way that knitting doesn't. That doesn't mean to say that I don't love knitting. It's just, it hits different. Anyway, so I'm really, really chuffed. See what I mean? It's still baggy enough to, to be cosy, but it's not like, <clears throat> Do you remember Di Princess Diana's wedding dress? Poofy at the top, like airbags. It was like that, but it was like an arm length airbag, but crochet and now it's a thing of beauty. Oh, now that I've put this on, I don't want to take it off. Maybe I never will. Anyway, um, so this was another project that I have done. Um, you'll have to excuse me if it goes really dark in here. It's about to pee down with rain again. This scrappy blanket um, that my husband bought for three pounds from a local charity shop, um, is it's so warm and um, yeah, it's called the Scrappy Blanket. Everyone in the house loves it. It's got a nice weight to it, so it really does keep you warm. Um, and I <laughs> I keep finding myself looking at it and wondering who made it and the, the story behind it. I think whoever knitted it knitted all of the squares because the tension and the stitches seem to be very uniform. They're, they're all this, they're very much the same but the yarns are different and then they've gone and sewed them together like like that now this was that me sewing that up this is their their work one of one of their fixes um and there was just lots of random holes in this and i decided that i wanted to fix it in much the same way <laughs> Of course it was that reason and not because um, I, I fix things wonkily anyway. I can't find any of my work, where the heck? There we go, there's a little bit. I decided to use the same same colour yarn and just um, just sew it. I just, I just got a, uh, a tapestry needle and away I went. So this is now all fixed. Oh yeah, I wanted to do something about that because this red is like in your face. It's like if violence was a colour. <laughs> so I'm embarrassed to show you this. I tried to break it down a little bit by just sort of embroidering a darker red into it to break it up. As you can see, it didn't work and it looks bloody awful. This is what happens when you try and do something after wine has been consumed. <laughs> and we will say no more. But it's fixed. And this is fixed, and that is fixed. So that's three, three whips. Now the other thing that I wanted to show you was my winter project bag, which I hadn't quite finished at the time, but I did show you the, the snowflake, the snowflakes I had embroidered on the piece of fabric. Well, da, 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 da. I love it. It's so wintry and a little bit Christmassy without being obviously Christmassy. And it's just, I love it. Um, I have decided that I am going to make these for the shop next winter, but not now. I'm kind of all snowflaked out for the meantime. But so so yes, this is um, my my winter project bag, um, and it's completed. I'm in love. Is it going to focus? One thing I was a little bit annoyed about. I used um, instead of using my usual stick and stitch patch fabric. Um, I used stick and stitch paper, which is a stabiliser that you can still embroider on. Um, 
it does wash away I found it didn't wash away nearly as well um, I don't know if you can still see is it going to focus? is it heck? oh well hopefully you can kind of see if the stitches look a little bit fuzzy it's because the, there's still like paper mush <laughs> behind there and all of the cleaning trying to desperately get the paper out made my bullion stitches would you focus? My bullion stitches all, all wonk, wonky donkey, and um, yeah. And I wasn't putting this in the washing machine, no way, no how, because um, it would have mullered the, the bullion knots. Anyway, <laughs> this brings me back to the last whip. Do you remember the socks? And I was very sheepish and I showed you that I had done nothing. <laughs> Behold! My almost sock! I did this! I've never made a sock before in my life and it's sort of sock shaped. Also, also, can I just, just nerd out and show you these for a second? I bought these for myself at Christmas time. Are you gonna focus on this? Are you heck? Focus! Thank you! How on brand are they? But I thought they were a bit extra and I, you know, I was like, well, why am I buying needle stoppers when I barely knit and, you know, I won't even need them probably. If I hadn't have bought them, I probably would have ditched this on the first row because these things are so tiny, you need them to keep everything on. I am so, oh, I am so happy to pass me for buying these things and um, I have a new obsession. I am now going to start collecting needle stoppers like I want to collect D&D dice. But I'm not going to collect D&D dice because I have one that hates me. We're not going to get into it. Anywho, um, you're not here for talk about D&D dice. It, it's not without issues. I won't tell you how many times I frogged back the, the heel, the, the heel flap, the what the hell is this bit called? The gusset? Also, I hate the word gusset. Um, it, oh, also, how? I'm not really sure how, but I've managed to knit a hole. Would you focus? Do I have to hide every time I want this to focus on something? Yes, I do. Okay, right, I've managed to knit a hole in there. I've, I've got a hole somewhere else. I've lost it. There you go. I've got another, another one there. I'm hiding. There we go. <laughs> I'm not going to, I must have just dropped a stitch or something, I don't know, but um, apparently once I've finished knitting this sock up, I'm also going to learn how to darn them. Okay, wasn't on the agenda, but fine. Um, I feel a little bit cheated <laughs> because I thought I could make a whole sock with these nine inch needles, um, but, but I got to the part of the video tutorial that I'm following and I, I, I fast forwarded, fast, fast forwarded, I, I went to the bit where the, she does the toe and she was like, and I'm going to move over to, I think, what was it 32 inch circulars, different circulars anyway. And I was like, hold, hold up. No, this is, a, this is meant to be a video on how to make socks on nine inch and, and, and what the hell? Um, to her credit, this woman knows how to knit socks and uh, from what I can gather, I will want to burn everything to the ground if I even attempt it. So <laughs> I have to buy some more circular needles now because I thought I had all I needed. Apparently not. But I will say, um, I don't hate using these. I thought I would. They are very titchy, but um, I'm a titchy person. My hands are titchy, so <laughs> it's, like, it's not all that bad. Um, I quite liked it. I quite like it. Um, I might find when I come to do the toe section, I don't know if that's what it's called, um, on slightly longer circular needles. I might actually prefer that. I don't know. But I haven't got any circular needle needles. Um, I don't really have the money at the moment to buy any, so that's going to have to wait. So basically I'm going to knit this down to that point and then they're going to go in the project bag and they're just going to stay there for a little while and then I'm going to have to do something else for a little bit until I can get the new circular needles. Bloody hell. But, doesn't matter, 
I'm really, really chuffed with that. I'm really enjoying it and I'm really looking forward to being able to put them on. And I keep lifting them up, or I did, keep on lifting them up and going and just showing Dan. It was like, look, look, I've done I've done this bit. And look, look, I've got a leg. And look, look, I've got the start of a hill. He hasn't got a clue what he's looking at. He just went, ah. Um, but like I said, I did. And then I, I don't do that anymore because I think I jinxed myself. Because every time I would show him my sock, something would go wrong and I'd have to frog it back. So I'm not saying that my husband is cursed, but I'm also not saying he's not. I've literally shown you all of my whips. They're not whips, they're finished. They're finished projects. I've, I've shown all of them to you and I've not even taken a sip of my coffee, which is now the optimum temperature. Oh yes, we can talk about projects for spring. Um, this is the problem. I, I've just I've run out of ideas. For my business, I seem to have ideas just like... But I feel like that's taking up all of the space and all of the energy and I have no creative sparks going off for my personal projects, which, not gonna lie, it sucks a bit. Um, I obviously want to make myself a, a spring project bag, but I have no ideas. No ideas. So I hate it when I get like this, and it does make me worry that it w one won't get done. But I need one, because then it will complete the set. I've had to keep my summer one, that pink one there, that's the summer sunset bag. That's my, my summer project bag. And I had to keep that downstairs rather than pack it away because I, I needed the bag. <laughs> I, I need project bags. I'm a woman who makes project bags for a living and I don't have enough for myself. What a state of affairs. Anywho, you saw my, um, my autumn project bag in the last one. That's now in the autumn box in the attic. I finished my winter one. That will also get packed away and put in the attic along with this, this mug. But spring, I, I, I don't have a project bag. I need one to complete my seasonal set. And I also, like I said earlier, I don't have a seasonal mug either. What is happening? I know that the world will keep on spinning, but still. Oh, right. So if nothing else, a spring project bag is, is what I would like to make over spring. There's going to be a lot of work stuff I think there will be a lot of projects but they're not going to be personal projects they're going to be work projects I can show you one you will have had to have been following me for some time I think to recognize these um, a while back I started making cards um, and I was making Mother's Day cards with patches on you could either have them as a patch or a magnet um, <sighs> focus again it says, I love you, mum. And I made Welsh ones, doing carry tea, mum. And I made American ones, which is, I love you, mom. I love you, mom. <laughs> Anywho, um, and then I stopped doing the cards, packed these away, and forgot about them. And I don't know if I mentioned, I had a big clear out of this um, uh, shelf slash storage box combo thing. And I found them again, just before Christmas, and I thought, ooh, they're too pretty to not use. So I'm gonna use them. But I wanna, I wanna, I wanna embroider a border, and I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do exactly. I could do like a satin stitch one, but that will be very time consuming. Um, we'll have to see. But you know, I also want to use, focus, gold. But <laughs> anyone who has ever worked with metallic thread, oh, it's going to make me angry. I mean, you can kind of see it here. Look. At... Oh, thank you. You see, it frays. I'm holding up my arm so that you can see the, the contrast. Um, yeah, it frays like an absolute loon and it um, knots up quite a lot as well. So, hmm, not sure how we're going to go with that. But obviously, because I've got the little gold... Um, beads here it would go really really well and it just you know with the velvet background it just makes it look very luxe and decadent darling so yes I have a number of these mum mam mom not mams I'm not doing mams this year I'm just doing because I've only got 
a certain amount of these and I haven't got any Welsh ones left so it's just going to be mums and moms and I'm just going to sell them as patches or maybe magnets and um, something that people can buy and, and maybe just put in a card as a little something something extra if edging them doesn't kill me first we shall see uh, so I'll be doing stuff like this I think and I've sold out of some of the sunset and um, autumn project bags so I need to make new ones up just so that I can relist them because I'd like to have at least one in stock so that if anybody buys one I've got something to to post out um, but I don't have anything stitch up I don't have anything stitched up so I need to stitch some things up stitch some sticks I think we need to leave it there now folks yeah just life life lifing business businessing and um I think I'm just a little bit low on energy now because we are at the end of winter and I've I've hit my max as far as cozying and hibernating goes. I, I am now in the kind of like, okay, I'm ready for some sunshine and getting outside and not constantly cleaning up leaves and mud and condensation from every corner in the house. That being said, I was outside the other weekend and the sun was shining and for the first time since late autumn it it felt warm again. There you go. <laughs> Springs are coming and hopefully so will the spring ideas. We shall see. And I will be back and I will not leave it two months this time. I promise. Catch you later.